The MI-12 was a contemporary of the giant AN-22 Antheus transport aircraft. In fact, it was seen as the AN-22's vertical takeoff equivalent. The vast fuselage had two flight decks. The main deck accommodated the pilot, engineer, and electrician. Above it was a smaller one that housed the navigator and the radio operator. The cargo hold had rear doors to allow access to vehicles or other heavy loads. It had a built-in electric traveling crane system that could lift 10 tons. Inside the hold, there were 50 fold-down seats around the walls for crew accompanying the cargo. The prototype flew for the first time in 1968, but the West did not become aware of its existence until 1969 when it carried a 40-ton load to a height of 4,500 feet. The MI-12's major safety measure was a series of cross shafts in the wings which interconnected the four engines. If one engine failed, both rotors would still operate and the helicopter would stay in the air. It was designed to work even if a pair of engines on one side of the aircraft failed. In 1971, a development version of the MI-12 visited the Paris Air Show where it raised the eyebrows of Western helicopter manufacturers. But after it returned to the Soviet Union, little more was heard about it. There were reports that it entered service in 1973, but it remained something of a mystery. In fact, the MI-12 project had been cancelled. The MI-12 failed to fulfill the hopes of its designers. The reputation of the Mill Bureau continued to grow, but it was based on the evolution of its single rotor designs rather than this twin rotor giant. 